everybody welcome back so this video i'm going to be showing you uh my attempt at the trent 100 uh, for those of you that don't know the trent 100 is a 100 kilometer stand up paddleboard challenge uh it's a team challenge it's not a race um it's just a completion uh so the event runs on the river trent uh starting in staffordshire running through derby and then finishing in nottinghamshire so 2022 this was the fifth year of the event running um it's an event i've wanted to do for quite some time so i just decided to just to enter and thankfully sort of through the parasocial media and some social groups i got a i've managed to uh, get into a team um for those of you looking to do that it is a team challenge if you can't find a team uh, or can't get enough people to join you um, what they will do is assign you a team, so there's no problem um, entering it if you if if you're doing it on your own. Um, so yeah, so it starts. So the base of operations is uh, Trent Adventure in uh, Staffordshire. Sorry, in Derby, should I say? Um, so they run sup and canoe hire so the event itself and the grounds are on a farm they don't actually provide camping to the general public so it's only used for, uh, for this event um, so it runs over four days um, so the first day you will turn up um, pitch up your tent or camper van uh, register meet your team uh, get some food and then on day two is when you start your paddling uh, so day one's quite a quite a long stint so it's 57 kilometers the first um, the first day um, so what they do is they ferry you by bus out to uh, Staffordshire at Shugborough Hall National Trust Pro uh, property where you launch in, um, in in waves and you will then head all the way down to Derby and finish at the campsite. So the campsite is the midway point through the challenge. Um, uh, day three is the second day of, challenge, uh, of the challenge. So that is 43 kilometres. Um, and that will take you all the way through to Nottingham Marina. So you'll travel and paddle all the way through the city. Um, where they will sh shuttle you back. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pass you on to the um, to the footage I've taken and I'll give you a overview if you want to stay after the um, after the clips and sort of give you my thoughts on what I thought of the challenge, uh, how it was run um, and so on. So thanks very much again for watching. Uh, don't forget to li uh, click like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Uh, yeah, cheers. Hey guys, here we are. So just arrived at Baron Trent for the Trent 100. So just pitched up. So for those of you that don't know, the Trent 100 is a 100 kilometer SUP endurance paddle over two days. Uh, so we're going to be covering 57 kilometers tomorrow, which is the Friday, and then 43 on the second day. So they're going to ferry us out west um, and then we're going to paddle back to the campsite here for our first day stop over the night and then continue down the river to finish so it's checkpoints we've got 10 hours to complete each day uh, we have 215 competitors i counted on the website earlier so there's a lot of people um, split into several teams I'm really looking forward to this one. I've um, been trying to do this for a few years and eventually got on a team. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I will document as much as I can. Um, forecast is looking like rain and headwinds tomorrow. Um, and the river in places has been reported to be uh, four inches deep. So there could be a bit of walking tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a walk around the site get me bearings thanks for watching all right so it's 10 o'clock on the first night um, all registered briefing done had some pizza met the rest of the team so yeah just gonna try and get a bit of sleep so we've got a six o'clock breakfast tomorrow seven to seven thirty loading of all the kit 
and then we're going to get shuttled down which is approximately an hour to the start line for around a nine o'clock start um, just being warm the river is low so yeah quite anxious about that to be fair um yeah time to get some sleep Right, here we are everyone, got the board pumped up, we're in the staffer now, so um, I think we're going to be hitting the water, it's been pretty hectic this morning, so breakfast, got all the kit ready, had a all the group pictures, everyone getting ready, so I will try and keep you updated as much as I can on the water, cheers. Oh. 6k in, off the water again, really shallow. Yeah, already had strainers, fast flow, portages in the first 6k. And flies! There we go, so 12.8k we watch, 2 hours and 4 minutes. First checkpoint, just gonna wait for the rest of the team. Um, we can continue until we uh, get everyone together. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Bit of a headwind, um, a nice flow, keeping a nice pace. Um, I think I might have uh, something to eat. But I'll wait for everyone else. Here we go. Checkpoint two. Um, we are 19 points. So 19.7 k in, three hours and 13 minutes. Flow's good, everyone's happy. Um, uh, I'm okay. So yeah, all is good. Right, so we just hit halfway. Um, not a bad pace really. I think it's going to be fairly tight. But I'm still, still going to make it. So everyone's enjoying it. Everyone's in a good spirit. So just take on some water. But bonus, baby otter. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm right in front of me and no one else saw it. Well chuffed with that. So uh, yeah, on to the second half of today. Right, here we go, we're in Burton, so checkpoint four. Um, we are now, yeah, 43k in, so we got 14k left. Aching a bit in some places, but feeling generally good. Um, headwind, all the way, all the way. It's been an absolute nightmare. Um, but yeah, I think the end is in sight for day one. So we're gonna, um, just wait for the rest of the team to catch up and head on. So hopefully the next clip will be at the finish line. So yeah, thanks for watching again. Um, hope you're enjoying it. Cheers. There we go, playing a swimming town. Um, about 2k left on the first day. Absolutely nothing. I quite like the sight of them now, I know I'm only about 2k away. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, just catching up the rest of the team. So we can finish the finish day one. A fair old slog. Nearly. Nearly he says. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> How many? Uh, yeah, you've re yeah, I've heard him shout, paddle, paddle, paddle. beginning of day two so 42 kilometers ahead of us um, we've split into three teams now because eight was too much um, feeling not too bad winds in the right direction at long last so we've got a tailwind happy days so uh, 14k shorter as well so we've done the bulk of the paddling yesterday so yeah let's get on it Here we go, so we're off, day two. Let's do it. Oh, here we are, so we're gonna stop for a bit of a break. Um, just over 20K in, so almost halfway on day two already. So pretty good pace. Happy with that, sun's out, river's slowing down though. So I think we're gonna, the pace is gonna drop, but yeah, I think everyone's in good spirits. And there he is. Paul from Plymouth Adult Waters. How you feeling mate? All good? Oh, here we go. Um, 32 and a half K in, almost five hours in. Um, last leg, last 10K. Oh wow. Yeah, it's been good. Just gonna stop for some food and uh, crack on with it. Here we go. Just over 3k to go in Nottingham. Um, feeling good now. I'm about to finish. Great team today. Excellent effort. Well, football fans among you will recognise that in front. Um, yeah, right. Let's take it home. Right, here we go. Trim 100 complete. Nice one, team. Hey. hey.
So there we go, the Trent 100 complete. Um, absolutely fantastic event. So I'd like to start by saying thanks to Sasha um, from uh, Moxie Fitness for allowing me into the team and Alison from our Exmouth Social Group for putting me in touch. Um, everyone done incredibly well. So we had started on the first day of paddling with two teams. So the first team, uh, Michelle, Kate and Alan. And then there was a team of eight of us at normal pace. Uh, so that consisted of sort of Sasha, Darren, myself, Colin, Chris, Rachel, uh, Michelle and Lucy. Um, everyone was brilliant. Yeah, really good to meet everyone. What we did do is split our second team into a further two teams, uh, two teams of four on the second team. Cause it was just um, it was just a, uh, better to manage, really. Um, but everyone done incredibly well. Um, I think we finished in 19th place at a time of 16 and a half hours approximately. So for my first Trent, super happy with that. Uh, super happy with the team. Um, I'd like to uh, point out that the marshals were absolutely outstanding. They, they just couldn't do enough to help you. Uh, portaging your boards, um, getting the, the water for you, filling your water bottles, uh, sorting snacks out for you. Um, and the, just the logistics, everything was was just done so, so well. Um, they've had five years of practice and it, and it really does show. Um, unfortunately, I missed the after party. So it turns out there was a, st a contagious stomach bug that I typically got on the Saturday, so I missed the after party um, where they run live music all night. So all part of the uh, all part of the ticket price. So for your for your whole four days, really, um, it's, in my opinion, it's just worth it. Um, so if you do intend on going, I'd suggest you take a touring board of some description. Um, just so you can carry your bits and pieces like uh, spare clothes and safety equipment and, and bits and pieces. Um, all these details can be found on the Trend 100 website if you intend on going and all the rules and everything. Um, but but please consider doing doing the event, even if it's just once. It's, um, yeah, just so fun. The atmosphere is just brilliant. You know, I, I can't speak any more highly of it, really. It was just really enjoyable um so thanks again for watching and taking the time i really do appreciate it uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you like the videos um any questions then please drop a drop a comment below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible um so hopefully look out for some more videos coming up later uh, so my next event is the x hammer down in exmouth so that's my local event it's only 45 minutes away uh, down on the X estuary, uh, looking forward to that. And then we have the uh, Sup the Creek. Uh, so Sup the Creek is a 12.5k paddle around Kingsbridge, uh, run by Waterbourne Sup, and they also do a technical race, which I've entered, and I've done no technical racing at all. So I'm just entering that for a bit of fun. I think it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, so please look out for those videos. Um, thanks again. Cheers.